The views expressed in this presentation are those of the hosts and guests and do not represent the views of any lodge, grand lodge, appended body, or any other person or persons whomsoever. Guy, right? You know, we're, we're cool. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not all weird. So like, yeah. Just a bunch of old guys eating hashed over crock pot food. And I, well, you're just not high enough up in the spirit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. And, oh. and the potentate is right where you are. And what no, does he do? He just grab, starts grab, laughing grab, his grab. ass off. Hello, and welcome to the At Refreshment Masonic Video Podcast. I'm your host, Wes Reuter. This is your place for Masonic mischief and libations. Let me bring you to the rest of my panel. Over to my right. Uh, Brock from uh, Raven Lodge 303. Now to my left. Yoshi, Villa Park Lodge, number 1113. Marty, Villa Park Masonic Lodge, practicing alcohol shaman. Namaste and mahalo. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> well, this is our fourth episode now so we're getting used to some things around here but we had a pretty big weekend last weekend because it was the Scottish Rite reunion in the Valley of Chicago and we're gonna start talking by that Brock you take pictures for the Scottish Rite now you have a unique experience because you get to see it through a the eyes of the Put lens. me on blast, man. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's, it, I know it's different compared to um, everyone else seeing everything. Kind of, because you're seeing it through a camera, but uh, you're also hanging out. Um, I would <laughs> probably have to start to say that uh, doing the photography for the Scottish Rite has been very cool. Um, it's exciting. It's cool to try to capture the atmosphere of, uh, you know, what we're all experiencing and to show other Masons who aren't in the Scottish Rite or Masons uh, to be like, hey, the Scottish Rite's here, it's a beautiful facility, it has a great library, museum, um, tons of cool fellowship, it's got tons of great, um, it's got like the pool table, uh, the bar, the fire pit. Um, I mean, what else? What else do you want to talk about? Well, I mean, the Scottish you, okay, here? you go in and you just... You know, you're taking pictures, and I, you've <laughs> asked me to, you know, pose for some pictures and stuff, or pretty was much. There, uh, was there money exchange there? <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> no, no, not yet. No, hopefully soon. We'll see. Wes is but, at hard times. Send money. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I being on stage and sitting there and trying to, sorry, stay awake and I was going to say sometimes because it's so dark in there and it's early in the morning. Maybe. Well, and after you eat a <laughs> big breakfast, that. you know, you start the days. You go in. Yeah. Early, you eat a big breakfast and then you immediately go sit in the dark for a while to yeah, watch a degree. Yeah, that food coma's got to be something. Sometimes you know, like, I've <laughs> definitely, uh, I've definitely seen a few older gentlemen uh, catching some Z's, they man. They actually <laughs> stopped it. It almost stopped the degree because the guy was. <laughs> rarely. Oh my God, that's like rarely that's like, though. That's like, that's like, that's like meetings great. sometimes, man. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. we're at meetings I and, definitely and seen you know where there's like a pause. I was in here. That's like Wednesday, 6.30 at Blue Lodge. You're trying to, <laughs> you're trying to cut down that and check. It's so, oh, But you, okay, they ask you for specific things that they want because obviously you're shooting for the magazine and the website. Yeah. What are they looking for? And that's what I mean. You have a brother set man. of eyes for it. You know, yeah, go for it. Brock, I've yeah. seen some of your photography. And the one thing that, there was a thing I read once, it was written by some hippies, so I don't know if I trust it. <laughs> but it's that you see a good photographer will show you his vision of something through the camera. And you yeah, can see yeah. that. Um, like, honestly, that's why if you look at it, it doesn't sound corny, but you see a lot of people take really crappy selfies with their significant other, but it looks cool because that moment's more about love than how they actually look and you can Absolutely. feel it through the photo. And your photos, man, Hey, I can tell you love the Scottish Rite. I can tell you love Masonry, but you really capture yeah. those moments with brothers. And you do it in such a way that, I don't want to say it's unexpected, but you like sneak up in there and like those moments where yeah. they're, po they're posed in that moment, but they're not posing for a photo, man. I, and I, sometimes that's the hardest part because as soon as people see you walk up with the camera, their actions immediately change. That nobody, they don't want to drink anything or yeah. eat anything or they're, they're trying to be quiet or they'll be hold back. But yeah, just capturing stuff like that because, uh, I mean, dude, it's happening. It's constantly yeah. happening. And how do you show people that, like, you can be part of this? And it's yeah. as simple as 
Asking. And it's approachable. And it's approachable. Absolutely. And that's that, I mean, one of the main things. And that's the best thing is the moment. You need to capture the moment. That's what they always yeah, say, yeah. right? And that is, yeah, with, with your photography, you do. You capture that moment, bro. Oh, it's you definitely really cool. There's some <laughs> sketchy stuff, too. Like, you know, you got to do all the portraits and stuff. I had yeah. some camera oh, yeah. issues, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. You got to yeah. deal with focusing and shots and yeah. stuff. There's all kinds of other headache. But, you know, it's also kind of cool that, you know... Just going through the degrees, and you know, sometimes I during the degrees, you know, I'll just be sitting there watching the degree like everybody else, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's that's the coolest thing is to see the, something. And like I've seen multiple degrees now that I've kind of been in here a second and traveled to a, uh, a few valleys, I guess, and seen some different stuff. So I've repeated a few degrees, but each valley is different. The layout of the lodge and the floor work and how they do it is completely different. So everywhere you go, and then like Wes, you know. He does, I don't know, how many acts do you do in, how many I just had two small parts this time. Two segment. small parts this <laughs> time, exactly. Parts. But normally he's on every degree almost. Yeah. No, Wes no, has got a part. Degree, no. He's the Brad um, Pitt of the Scottish writer. Yeah, right? yeah dude. <laughs> Tom Cruise over here. You know, to go on what you were saying about, you know, when you go to different valleys, how different it is. You know, it, it's true. Is when we were traveling and we went to, we've gone to uh, D.C., we went to lodges in D.C., Vegas. And we went to lodges in Vegas. Oh, very and, cool. And, and watching watching them do ritual, it's just that that little that little difference, you know, that little difference. And it'll throw you off. Yeah. Because like when we when we went to Vegas <laughs> and we we <laughs> I don't know if I can, can I even talk about it. You can't no, okay. Can't. I even, <laughs> right. But we it, it do just, the do guard one way in Illinois. There we go. There we go. That's all. I, I don't know who taught those Vegas boys what, but it was. Wild. <laughs> yeah, Wait, it we was, were still at the beginning of it. it. We're still at the those? beginning of it, and they were like done before we were even like prepared to you know to actually do the do guard. Now, like they were already like done. We're like, uh, was it okay? Was it one of those lodges where you get up to speak, you have to go through all three do guards and signs before you No, 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 no not all three. Crazy. No, no, no. It was whatever you were open on. Whatever. Yeah, 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 whatever you were yeah. open on, then the, you had to you had to no. stand up and do it. I, no, I, I hate talking because I feel like my hands kicking. I know I Yeah. We yeah. can talk about yeah, a lot yeah, of the yeah, show. Yeah, you do want to you want to like, do uh, you want to do the stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want you want to do you want to do the movements. <laughs> this is the movement? Hey, I don't want that. Every everyone walking watching, if you want to like break into a lodge, just walk in and throw this up. Not Yeah, seriously. This is what you guys got. Dude, knows that well, no, this, this is, is for all the, the conspiracy signal. nuts. Yeah, yeah so exactly. Like, they're, like, they're gonna make a million videos of this. Be like, so this is what they do now, you know? <laughs> yeah, you walk and, in, you do this, and you go, Mama Shabubi, and you're, pretty, you're <laughs> well, straight. Well, you know that for the Blue Lodge, you guys aren't Scottish Rite members. What do you do to get in the Scottish Rite? Well, I think I gotta sign up a petition first and give someone money if I want to get because I'm not in yet. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when hey, when I, are you guys gonna join? I joined well, the grotto as soon as I heard did, about no, it. No, 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 I did not, not join. No, the and grotto. that's all. Yeah, you did not. I, and we you appreciate that. When I joined that. the grotto, we appreciate that. But like, like I've said before, I'm I'm not joining anything else until I become a Templar. I get it, man. After that, then you know we'll yeah, see. You're really, right, no, 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 you're really gonna be proactive and finish in New York, right? You, now. Oh yeah, because you are too, right? But you're, you're right there with you know. You've already gotten it, right? Yeah, because see, I'm I'm saddled down because I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Love it. it's fine. You're doing degrees I'm like you get paid you by the hour. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the Scottish Rite, the, I didn't get to see it. So Brock's going to have to explain this, and there's a reason why we're coming up with this right now. Oh, yeah. The aprons. So the Rose Croy, uh, the Scottish Rite has a humongous archive. It's absolutely massive, and it's a collection of pieces from all over, from tons of different mm -hmm. time dates. And uh, right now, in, in their second floor, they have this beautiful setup of, uh, and I believe it's the Rose Croy chapter that uh, put all this together, but it's a bunch of different Masonic aprons from a time span of, I think the earliest was like 1770 to like 1900. And they were amazingly, like how thin and how tiny some of the aprons were was like a little hilarious. <laughs> Because I was like, I couldn't even imagine actually wearing this apron so tiny. And it was let, smaller than a shoestring as the belt that really? goes around. It's wow. really it's tiny. It. Well, like, I got to realize if I was like like this size um, in the 1700s, I'd be yeah. in like a circus. <laughs> no, we or would. I, or I'd roll yeah. the world. They might hunt Most you of, down for no, food. I mean, yeah, they would. Scarce, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, we would. We'd how do you do that? Right now. Well, actually, I, one time, I don't know how I stumbled or upon it. Well I was on Reddit and like the interesting photos, like subreddit. And they showed a photo of like the world's fattest man in 1932. And I swear to God, we wear the same clothes. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't know exactly what you're talking I looked about. at that. I was like, oh god. Yeah, that that made me feel so much better about my life. <laughs> no. I'm on the Scottish Rite Valley Chicago website right now to see maybe if I can 
actually look at the April. Oh, but... I'm not sure. I I don't believe that it's up on, I know, up like on the add. website. Wes but, uh, uses the internet here because he doesn't like to pay for internet at home. He's a like, free <laughs> Wi-Fi guy. Yeah. He's also checking his email and paying his water bill. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but they had a great display of aprons. They had some old Templar aprons, uh, different aprons from uh, the different appended bodies of Scottish Rite. But um, the craziest part about it was is some of the artwork on here was hand-painted and hand-drawn, and it had been on these aprons since, you know, 1770, since the founding of this country. So it's like, I mean, to see how pristine and they're not faded, it's uh, the paint and everything, it's like, you see canvases in an art museum and you're like, oh, that's cool, yeah, these guys painted that, or whatever, it's pop art, it's from the 80s, you know? It's a Warhol, okay, yeah. cool. You know, it's screen print. I want to go but, to an art, um, art museum with you, so Yeah, I know, right? You're like, oh. you're, like, you're just like, like turning your nose up at everything, but you're like, oh, oh, what's that, the Von Dutch, huh? Whatever. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, but the craftsmanship in the old, of the old time is just amazing, man, yeah. and it's, it's, so crazy to think, like, uh, you know, not very many people are doing Dude, this now. Dude, that's so now. funny, because every time we go to the shrine, and I look at, like, their little museum, or that that wall where they have all the glasses and everything, and I'm always like, why don't we have cool stuff like this anymore? Like, yes. everything is well, so, like... got great stuff. We, well, no, we, but no, it's, no, 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 it's, no, no, it's, it's old. Display. It's really old. But I'm talking about, like, most of the stuff now, it, like, oh, yeah. they're coming out with is, like, you know, I mean, I, I've gone to places, like, they got, you know, they'll have, like... A, a, a pint glass like this yeah. with just the you know the, the the screen of it on it. That's cool. It is it cool. Is. But like when you look at the old stuff and you think about like the the, the work, the time, the art that went into it, you yeah. know, and you you gotta appreciate. But that. no, but at you the do. shrine, it's kind of interesting. We look at all the potentates glasses. You have these ornate, fancy, yes. beautiful yes. goblets, and then and right around the yeah. '80s, it was easier to <laughs> yeah. look yeah. yeah. to call China. Yeah, yeah. now yeah. we got the lasering and everything. Yeah, it says, the, it, done. it says the potentate's name here, then the black blue on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, and the reason why we bring up those aprons is because we have a guy here in Illinois that is actually hand painting aprons, making custom aprons for brothers. No way. Um, his name is Aaron <laughs> Wilcox, and we're gonna bring him in and. Tell you about his aprons. Aaron, come on in. Come on down. Thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely, Thank you for coming. man. Welcome. Appreciate What's it. What's up, brother? What's up, bro? What's up, Broski? How you doing? All right. Yeah, man. Just kind of tell us about uh, a little bit about how you got into, Thank you. you know. Well, hold on. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Like, you know, name, lodge, yeah, you know? Sure. Give a little, you know, hit your little history yep. before you I'm, get into um, I'm Aaron Wilcox. Um, my home lodge is in CL 934. Um, I'm a plural member of Illumination 5. Um, yeah, and I appreciate you guys having me out. Um, yeah, I, I do uh, hand-painted aprons. It's all basically on word of mouth, so, you know, I, I don't really advertise. And uh, I'm just here to kind of talk about the aprons and, you know, the craft. How did you get started with the aprons? Uh, you know, I've always been an artist, and um, one day I was kind of going through the Internet and finding all these old aprons, like I think um, his name was John Bruns. This one story, he's a, a mason um, who actually, when he died, they found his apron in his pocket. And that's why they're so thin. Really? Oh, they were, wow. Yeah, they were, they were um, hand painted on silk. Oh, I mean, wow, they were wow, thin. Wow, they were right, tiny. Wow, okay. it was, you can it tell that the old ones were thin. I didn't yeah, know I, did, I had no that's idea. Crazy. I thought it was just linen or something. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it, it's silk. And I, I actually used to wow. paint on silk. I was a designer. Uh, for a, a company downtown, um, Robert Daskal Group, I'll throw them out there, but uh, you know, <laughs> thank you for uh, you know that uh, because I, I was a designer and a painter of silk and we used to do like textiles, you know, ties, um, scarves and jackets and stuff. And from that, I started doing Masonic ties and a lot of the guys over at Hinsdale have some of my ties, you know. That's extremely cool. I would yeah. love one, man. So, uh, do you yeah. still do a tie? You know what? It's like all my stuff is put away and it's so time consuming. <laughs> and, that is know. amazing, yeah. That yeah. is I, so I did cool. I across one of your ties and oh, you they wrapped around my head for the Wayfaring oh, Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your father told me I remember that. Wayfaring Man. No, you know, no, my son Aaron made too. that for his tie and you're using it like that. I'm like, I needed something. The first time I met your dad, he actually, funny. uh, he looked at me and said, you like this tie? I'm like, yeah, that's a cool tie, so I really like it. And he goes, my son made it. I'm like, I'm glad you still talk to him. I <laughs> <laughs> He's like the only person in my family that talks to me still, like my mom. My oh, sister. your dad's great, yeah. yeah I've met him a few yeah, times. A no, your, your dad's yeah. a man. Yeah, thank you. 
Thank you. Yeah, yeah he's I a agree. cool guy. Thank you. I, I call him dad, bro. Yeah, you never met his dad. <laughs> okay. he, he's probably about seven years ago. It was one of the first guys I honestly met in Mason. I, I, he's a really cool guy. Yeah, it, your father is really nice. I enjoy talking to him. When I met him, he had the, so. the boot on Thank his you. foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. I remember yeah. He had a fall. God, I'm the odd man yeah. out. I, have, I don't believe I've met your father. Well, you got to meet my dad. I do. I got to meet him. Um, but yeah, I, I would him? owe everything to him, you know, and um, so I really love my dad. Was he there that night? My brothers. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's cool. Your dad's a Mason, too. That's a nice. cool thing to share in your family. Mm -hmm. you, we, nobody else is, has anybody else that's. As Mason far as I know, I'm I was I'm the first to ever do it. Me too. As far as I know. Uh, yeah, my first my family. Well. My maternal great grandfather I found out was. Ooh. And uh, my uncle is, but he I got him in actually. So. Yeah. He, well, hey, that's, that's cool. Are you and your father, do you only Masons in the family? Uh, yeah, we had Masons back in the family line. Some uh, pretty interesting uh, stories and stuff. You know. Wow. Um, you know. New England blue blood type. Oh, stuff. oh nice. okay. there we yeah, go. Yeah, interesting cool. stuff. Yeah, yeah. like. Um, Pierpont Edwards, have you heard of Pierpont? No. Well, there's a Pierpont Edwards um, award in Connecticut. He was the first Grand Master of Connecticut. Oh, wow. So that was kind of cool. And he was a really interesting guy. That is and pretty really, cool. And he spoke like, like native languages and everything, like Pike. A very wow. interesting guy. Wow. Cool. That's, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, he wasn't very like cool. traveling the, the nation and hunting animals and you know stuff <laughs> <Yeah>. like that. <laughs> but he, he was pretty cool. Um, yeah, but uh, anyways, so yeah, thanks for having me out. Uh, oh, absolutely. I brought a couple of Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. yeah. Bring right. on. Let's talk about yeah. it. Yeah, let's show, let's show the people. So this one actually is my past master's apron from Hinsdale. Um, it actually isn't the one that they gave me, but <laughs> That's all right. but you That's know right. I'm an artist yeah. and You're I really right. love esoteric kind of symbolism because you know it tells a, a different story in symbols. You know, like mm -hmm. hieroglyphics. Right. So each of these has a, like up here is like kind of like the higher world. Yeah. And then down, down below here is where we're like working to get back to that, right. you know? So we came from there and then we're working to get back to that. So what we learn in the craft gives us the tools to do that work to return up to the source of where we come from. Mm -hmm. So that's the story of this without revealing anything mm -hmm. uh, Masonic. And then if you open it up, you can see that there's a hand that kind of comes out of the clouds and gives wow. us this, which we all know what that means. Mm -hmm. how Geography. Many <laughs> Geography. <laughs> how many hours do you put into something like this? Okay, so this one actually, man, well, this is my own. And if you feel it, you could feel like this higher surface on the front. Yeah. That's okay. actually the... The oh. apron that was given to me when I was raised. Wow. wow. That's your oh, actual wow. Oh, this no is, kidding. There's an apron over, yes. over an apron. So it's, okay. a, it's actually attached to a piece of cowhide that I had cut down to the template size of a regular Illinois apron. Wow. So, so the dimensions of this are Illinois regular dimensions. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. We know what that means. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. In different uh, Yeah, Texas, I know, has a weird yeah. apron size. Yeah. There's a few states that have yeah. weird apron sizes. Right, right. So, yeah, this one in particular, this probably took me about 120 hours. Oh, wow. wow. I can believe that, though. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, it, it is beautiful. Man. The borders beautiful. around around the, the triangle down is just mm. amazing. It's crazy. The shapes and how the colors and the black and white all come together. And... I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not, but like, there's also a, a lot of glitter and you know, uh, like you, shimmer in you the paint, like gold and leaf and well. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so um, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Um, you know, I, oh, it's amazing, man. The craftsmanship is. Columbia College. One of my one of my favorite uh, teachers was, um, you know, in, instrumental in kind of crafting, um, you know, my my interest in art at Columbia College, um, and. Um, you know, anyway, so I, I like to try to hand on my uh, craft to, to my children. I have two children, and my daughter is an amazing artist. So oh, and she's wow, only, cool. she's turning six. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's <laughs> but she's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Like, she was doing color wheels the other day, and she was like, oh, yeah, the primary colors make a triangle. I'm like, 
Huh. Huh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, there's something else. Right? There, there's something. Well, yeah. We're, we're now the that, that she knows that, she's we're, technically halfway to the wait, second oh, degree. Yeah, we'll pull up on that. We'll <laughs> up on yeah, because we're we're actually gonna have to take a break. Oh, okay. we're almost yeah. a minute away, but we might as well do that right yeah, now. We'll take Sounds a break. Good. Um, actually, Aaron, what we're gonna do for you? You gave us a bunch of cards. What we're gonna do on the the break when this comes out? Okay. We'll put this on here so everyone that wants to get a hold of Ap Aaron and get an apron made. Absolutely, go to the website, check that out. Yeah, to all the Masons watching this, I know it's tax time. Don't pay those parking tickets. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Get his good brother Thank here. You. And with that, we'll have uh, we'll right uh, Aaron's commercial. We'll be right back. And we're back at the At Refreshment video podcast. We left talking to Aaron about his aprons, and you were just going to show us uh, another apron. It's pretty interesting. You want to yep. bring that up? Absolutely. All right, there's the next one. This is, again, this is all handmade. Comes from cowhide. Oh, wow. And then um, the uh, tasseling is ordered from India. Couldn't find that in the States. Lift it up. Oh, wow. Wow. The, uh, wow. The, the rope and tassel is all hand done. Wow. Did you you made these yourself? Yes. Okay. Right. Yep. And um, you can see the stitching on the rope is gold thread. Wow, that is amazing. I mean, wow. it is just incredible. Now, do, you, do you do the stitching with machine or by hand? By hand. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All right. Yep. What Those kind of paints do you use for for this? Right. Um, so it's a special blend of acrylic that okay. I use. And acrylic, you know, it's basically like plastic. And, but it, it has very forgiving um, elements to it. It's flexible. Yeah, it does look very flexible. Yeah, I mean, it almost, uh, when it's laying down, it looks like it will crack, but as soon yeah. as you touch it and move it, it mm -hmm. you know it's not going to. Right, yeah. And, um, wow. So can you last. talk a little bit about this or not really too much or what do you, what do you <laughs> Well, yeah. can, can you explain because we know that the you've told me thing. about what the customer has said and can right. you please ex explain yeah, that sure. so everyone knows. Sure. Um, yeah, so the, I can't tell you exactly, I can't tell you who it's for. I can't tell you who bought it. Um, but I can tell you that it's a very special gift to somebody who did an amazing favor for his family member. Wow, that's awesome. Um, and it's going overseas. Uh, it's, I could tell you it's going to Bulgaria. Very so, wow. cool. All right. Wow, okay. Um, and wow. I could tell you that the people in the picture here, um, the, the portraits are of the people who it's for. Oh, oh wow. wow. Okay. So right. it's from one of them to the other. And you could kind of get an idea yeah, of, that of is who amazing. was helped, right? Um, so I wish I could tell you all the specifics, but um, now I, the, I just can't. The no, brother that you're totally doing understand. it for, this is a, he's getting it for himself or he's giving it to someone else? So he he got this for him. Okay, okay. okay. So he got this as a, as a gift for the brother in Bulgaria. And actually, this brother here is a brother from Illinois. Oh, so I don't know. If, All right, okay. and it's and it's a pretty accurate, um, you know. Actually, I think I figured out who it was. Yeah, I think. You, you could probably, <laughs> I'll ask you off camera. Yeah, ask okay. me off camera. Now, and I'll give you like a wink or something. <laughs> I can't tell you yes or no. Did he come up with the design, or did you give suggestions? How did how does that work when right. designing an apron? Good question. Yes. Well. <laughs> I, I, have I to mean, be, I understand I have it's to not be careful this answering this because you'll yeah, give away can, who it's okay. for. Oh, you can talk but about another one. That, there, that's yeah, no, no, that's okay. Um, I'll give you some hints, you know, because Masons, we love little puzzles. <laughs> right? Um, the decoration here is special. Okay, so only certain Masons could get this type of decoration. Also, this type of decoration here is special. And in different parts of the world, only certain Masons could get this decoration. Right. All right. And um, so that gives you a little bit of a clue, maybe. Yeah. And then down here, this is the kind of like a motif of the Civil War Memorial, the Masonic yeah. Civil War Memorial. Yes, yeah. yes I, I remember you telling me about that. Yeah. Right. Really yeah. Cool. So um, is that what he wanted? The, the, the Civil War, but them? 
Right, yeah. Or was actually, that your suggestion? It was actually my suggestion okay. because Great. after hearing this story, I said, oh my gosh, this is... Wow. This, this has got to be probably what you're going to want. Now, I usually go back and forth with the client many, many times, as many times as it takes. When I do an apron, it's not about the money. It's mm -hmm. about the connection. So I connect to the brother. I get into his head. I come up with some sketches, and he says... Either I love it or tweak this, but usually I love it. Um, I know that you were saying that you were going to put uh, Steve Shank's apron on, so a good brother. Yeah, yeah, Steve yeah. Shank. We'll, we'll put that one. We'll put yeah. that one up when Absolutely. we're talking about it now. Yeah. Okay, that one. Like I was talking to Steve, and and uh, he's like, "Yeah, I want something planetary," and I'm like, "Saturn. We're going to put Saturn in there." And he's like, "Yes, yes, Saturn." And then I was like, "Okay, so um, like we'll put." snakes or the dna strand mm -hmm. going around it he's like yes yes so pretty much like i connected with him right away but i knew him very well you know again this brother i knew very well you know i'd spent time at his house talked to him all the time and so it was pretty easy to connect with him um i did one for a brother where it was like going back and forth and back and forth until we got it right and i think it was maybe like 10 or 15 different exchanges and tweaks to it until I got it. But this one, I didn't have to do a sketch at all. Hmm. I just, like, I said, this is what I envision. And he's like, do it. So Perfect. That's th the best. Yeah, there's not even a sketch to it where usually I'll have at least a sketch. So this one, there's no sketch involved. And has he actually seen the finished product yet? Yes. Okay. Yeah, right. he loves it. Awesome. That's great. That's yeah, cool. Absolutely that's amazing. amazing. Yeah, phenomenal. It, it's so Thank impressive, you. man. And this is like kind oh, of what we were talking about, man. Check Just it out. bringing the, the like arts and the talents the and uh, <laughs> the hobbies and things that every Mason has and bringing it to the craft. It's something like that that we can all enjoy, the audience can the enjoy. Side. And then it goes off to another country well, now, and now it's internationally okay. known, you know. Well, this one is. It's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, this is beautiful. My gosh. And it's it's hard to tell, you know, you guys to see the stitch work and to see this. This is, un, I mean, how many hours do you think you have invested in this one? Um, this one actually is toward the lower end. Uh, usually, it oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm which is say, like, that, whoa. Yeah. Which if is this crazy. is towards the lower end, I'm like, man, no. the stitching is <laughs> like, crazy. You know, you know, I Damn. I was working kind of feverishly on this. It was weird. Yeah. You know, like Watch how it. you hear the stories of like Stephen King. You know, writing a novel. I was that's how I worked on this. I was just like I knew exactly what I needed to do and I was just like feverishly trying to you know, get but it done. In a weird I way, do have a deadline though. I, I kinda knew you were gonna say that and the reason being when it was your idea, a little bit of your vision, they just kinda thank you, where they just gave you the message. I, I knew you were just the type of the guy that's just going to run with that and just kind of sit in his laboratory. Have another pot of coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't want to sit it down and spill yeah. anything on your, it. Your wife's like, you have, have work tomorrow. He's like, I'm working. I, <laughs> <laughs> she knows. Yeah, your work's very impressive. No, and you know thank what? you for coming to share thank it with you. us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. You know what? I have, to, I have to say, I have to thank my wife, too, because she understands when I do my work, whether it's this or whether I'm doing a painting or some other type of art for a client, that's what I'm doing. You know, and my children know. And they, they come around, they get their hugs, you know, and everything. But I am working. I have my coffee. I have my wine. I have my paints and everything. True craftsman. Yeah, uh, yeah, true craftsman. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. And that brings up Thank something you. that we want to talk about next because, Aaron, this obviously started off as a hobby for you. Correct. Yeah, and you turn into a small business, something something you did, that you do for brethren and a little bit of money and this yeah. stuff. Yeah. But how many times do we go to lodge and we talk to brothers there and just regular meeting? But we have absolutely no idea what they do or what they like, other than what they do in the lodge or what they do for the lodge. I know. And actually, talking to brothers is always one of the most eclectic experiences. Uh, Bill Bucer, voice of the Grand Lodge. Call it Illinois Grand Lodge. And, and I don't mean drinking and well, swearing no, and all no, that yeah, shit. Like, I mean real hobbies. But yeah. like one time, he, I got into a huge conversation with him about Latin jazz fusion. No way! <laughs> I think he was super deep into Nova? that. He was like some guy from Fuente. I don't know. He was talking I've about. Actually, heard uh, a genre of music. That's, that's awesome. Cool. He's like, I'm super into Latin jazz fusion. I'm like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, Let's uh, go to a discotheca. I know. Well, Jake for you. Yeah, yeah, but you talk to people and they're just. Um, our producer, Dave, you would have known it's super into curling. 
Really? I had no idea. Yeah. I don't like everyone just no said Dave girl. like he was gonna really? respond. Yeah. I would <laughs> never would have guessed that. that. I would have never either. Yeah, that I, is amazing. Okay, but no, you think about that. Yoshi, for Precise. example, super into being poor. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say man. It's true. It's so, it's so, it's so true. It's all of his so money. So <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much. I don't know. I don't even know how I pay my dues. To be honest with you, he doesn't even, he doesn't even like living indoors. No, no, I don't. No, <laughs> it's not for him. No, it's not. You know, Sunshine park bench everywhere. It's yep. overrated. Yeah, it's overrated. Shower when you need it. Yeah. Only God oh, gives overrated. It to you, right? <laughs> <laughs> when God gives it to you. <laughs> Just when God gives. Check it to the weather real quick, man. So I mean, Brock, what do you do? I know you skateboard, but what else do you do? Just gonna say yeah, yeah, now I that mean, we're putting I you like, on the spot, uh, what the yeah, fuck are you Yeah, exactly. Doing? I was like, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, I definitely like to skateboard still. Um, I skateboard pretty much any time that I am. It's nice out and I can skate or whatever, but, uh, I mean, dude, skateboarding and photography, a little bit of art, reading and collecting old books. That's about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, man, this guy's got a lot of old books. Oh, man, but I'm you just like, you sound like every 23-year-old chick on Tinder right now. <laughs> 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 well, it's that, it's that, uh, I'm... I don't. I wouldn't want to say that uh, it's that. It's like that hipstery vibe, man. It's like some people are out here doing it, and then you got these hipsters you out here. You actually know what you're talking about. Well, so that's what I'm saying. You got no, these hipsters yeah, out here cool who are just like, about. oh yeah, yeah, I know. I'm cool with that. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. into that. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm so been doing that, sure, sure man. You do. sure I've you been do. doing that. He's not like those. I'm so esoteric that I'm gonna talk. <laughs> and I'm gonna have no fucking clue what I'm saying, but I'm gonna make you shake your head. Yeah. Speaking of esoteric, like what about Carlos Hernandez? Oh, yes. Huh? Look at the Sun and Masters. I mean, that's, a, that's another brother who he's right, going to be coming out. Amazing artist. Yeah. 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 He, he yeah. yeah. could yeah. make Amazing it. Amazing artist. Have, oh. have probably three interviews, yes. but yeah, yeah, he he couldn't make it out. He but, was actually at the Scottish Rite selling his stuff. Oh, he yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he yeah. wasn't there the last time. Oh, he's anywhere they'll let him sell stuff. He's going to. Massachusetts to go to the Masonic Con. Oh, he's going to Masonic Con. Yes. Oh, nice. nice. Absolutely. Maybe I'll hide Wait, when's his Masonic Con? <laughs> it's uh, a couple weeks. Yeah. 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 End of nice. April? What's up with you, man? What do you What do you do? What do you do for fun, man? What's your hobbies? Other than blues. Nothing. The blues. Oh, oh man. It's yeah, soul. I am early. Yeah, I, I, I play impressive. guitar. I blues guitar, heavy metal. I yeah. like all different kinds of music. Just maybe certain kinds, not... So much as others, but <laughs> that, uh, like Brock, I, I read, the pesh wa watch TV, and leave piss oh, off yeah. my wife. And it's not a hobby, but it's something I'm good just, at. Just, just, uh, anger yeah, a bit. Just, just, just a dig at her a little <laughs> thing. But <coughs> I get interested in, in in a lot of things, but mm -hmm. you know. I'm trying to pick up this new hobby of sleeping because I haven't been doing it in a while. Oh, oh yeah. God, I miss sleep. Yeah, do people still sleep? Is that a thing still? Do people still sleep? I haven't gotten more, more than five hours. Yeah, like, like, for God, God, pillows, God, God sleep can't do it anymore. <laughs> Get the bed toppers. I, I, nice. I've never had a, a baby to have to wake up early in the morning for. Mm. I just I always just wake up on my own. Yeah. Well, oh, God, I, I, I could sleep like two hours. I'm like, oh, shit. One o'clock in the morning. Now I'm up to like five or six, yeah. wow. and then I sleep another two Those hours and then I get up again. Yeah, man. I, I, I God, I, I wish I had that. <laughs> it's not fun. I don't get me wrong, but I wish sleeping's sleep a better hobby, hobby, man. Wish I, oh, sure. man, sleeping's the best. Dude, I miss sleep. I you do. do I miss sleep. Sleep is such a everyone. That's why you go to lodges. Yeah, go to sleep. Yeah, everyone go to bed. Go to bed on us right now. No more Masonic podcast for you tonight. Good well, night. I said good day. <laughs> <laughs> I said good day, sir. Yeah. It's funny. Yoshi, what are you doing for hobbies? Pretty fun. Uh, you know what? Um, besides masonry, because that, that's starting to take up a lot of my time now. Um, I'm a big gamer. Uh, oh. I, love, I love gaming. Um, it it uh, mostly it's video games, but uh, I do you know I like role playing games, tabletop, live action, LARP, you know as they call it. Uh, but I haven't I haven't really done LARP in a long time. I was young when I did that. Yeah, you, um, you can't really LARP over 30. And I know, well, right? Well, it's still, it's still you ever seen role models? Are really I'm models. Sure. Why? Uh, but no, um, you I've never heard of LARP. When I when I hear LARP, I think this nasty guy at a truck stop. You know, <laughs> you don't know see, that's, that's, the, that's the funny thing. Is like when, the a, when a friend LARP of mine got me into this it, is LARP. I thought about that too. I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna be one of them guys. And then mm. when you get there, oh, for reference there's not live action role play. There you yeah. go. You know, you get that, there and it's it's not that bad. There's there's a there's a good. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, yeah depending on okay. depending on what the game is, Does it like make you Renaissance better? Fair makes you better. Style? I like think what? so. No, what you lose you, yourself you into it, but you're acting. Right. You're acting. It, it really is. Gives you the you're edge. acting with, with with a bunch of people. Sweet. You know, and everybody's in character. I might, you know, I might and try that one day. It's fun. It was I've it was a lot of fun when I did it. it. 
Um, Honestly, but again, mostly what I do is uh, is uh, gaming, like video games. Is uh, it anything like, like the movie uh, Role Models? Never see that. I don't think I have seen that. No. Nope. What video games do you play? Oh, let's see. Uh, almost all the fighting games. Yeah. You know, I, I play a uh, big game. The, me and my wife actually, uh, we got into uh, when we first started dating was Gears of War. Your wife games too. She my plays game, or she, just a piece. His, no, no, no. His my wife, my is wife plays. Really? Yeah. She, oh, no, I, oh my god! Yeah. I can't even tell you. We, we gotta get her. her, her, her <laughs> when I get her to play like multi, she hates playing multiplayer because she 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 gets too intense and it's like it, 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 she gets wow. mad really fast. <laughs> but every time I do get her to play Never and play she freaking much. owns somebody, I'm like, my wife just owns you. <laughs> I love doing that. I love doing that. <laughs> nice. But uh, like I said, uh, when we when we got married, uh, my uh, my my wedding ring is. The, the cog flag, you know, because that was something that we, we we bonded over was was video gaming. Um, and at the wedding, we have uh, I have two of the like prop guns. And during I mean, we have I'm in my tux and she's in her her wedding dress, and we we got these guns and we have you know wow. tons of pictures. So, that, you know, uh, she clear where your wife. We can put those photos on the podcast because they are cool photos. They are cool photos. I'll ask her. Maybe I'll, 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 I'll yeah, ask her. I'll ask her. Up. I'll ask her, but I'll there's, there's some really that, cool man. photos. If she says nice. no, well, let's just replace her face with Boba Fett or something. <laughs> 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 All right, you explain that you to her. Yeah. Do that. I'm looking um, for that. And then, um, so well, go I, I got to go to my phone and stuff like that. I do go. I go to the Chicago ones. I go to Wizard World and I go to C2E2. My bucket list is is you know the Comic Con in San Diego and. Sadly, it's here this coming weekend is is uh, celebration. Oh, yeah, Star Wars but thing this weekend. you know what? I, I I said if I would go to that, I would go the whole weekend and tickets for the whole weekend like sold out like on, like really quick. Yeah. And just you know it, it didn't it didn't work out. But yeah, again you know, like the comic conventions. Uh, I'm 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 I am a comic book enthusiast. I do enthusiast. I do love I do, I do love a lot of uh, uh, reading uh, Marvel. <laughs> no, actually, uh, I I love I love more fun. Then. No, I like I have the a plethora of comics. I, I I I read Marvel. I read uh -huh. DC, Image, you know, Black Horse. You know, oh, yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I, I if I if I see a yeah, I love anime. Yeah. I, I'm I like to call myself a jack of all trades nerd. You know, I, I dabble in like a little of everything. Are, that's right. Right. I heard Anthony. Yeah, so yeah, you know what? Know, like, wait, right. what what's going on here? No, yeah. you know what I love about the whole nerd thing now is Can like you just say it is for how the is how like how it became cool. You know, I remember when I was younger, it was not cool. You did not tell people, oh yeah, yeah. I, I dress up and I, I I play this game or I I, I play mm. video games or oh, yeah. or I go to comics. Game. I read comics. <laughs> no, that didn't happen. Now, like you see on Instagram, you got these chicks who are like beyond like ten. Freaking being like, <laughs> I love this new comic that came out. It's the one. It's so wonderful. And it's like, but, or that. You know, and 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 this is this is why you are a cool guy. And and you know yeah. the, the thing about nerds, most nerds are successful. The guys that gave nerds a hard time usually yeah. didn't. They didn't make yeah. the cut. They, they're not in the NBA <laughs> or the you know national. It's true. You no, know, they're not playing football. You know, yeah. they're just some. Guy, you know. Some guy. Yeah. Some, some guy, guy at a bar Pushing drinking a, a yeah. beer. It's, yeah, always just, it, it's always some townie. On some YouTube and channel. Like, <laughs> it's always some townie in like a tap out shirt, like drinking a Bud Light. I'm like, why are you still fighting people at bars <laughs> at 38? You did tap out still makes those shirts? I or affliction. Seen those in a while. Affliction, yeah. affliction, affliction, tap out. Whatever. Right. No, he, I don't know. he hasn't bought a new it's shirt old. since they were hot, man. He's like living in that moment. He worked his way up to the, <laughs> the manager of Jiffy Lube. I spent all my tax return on these six shirts. From Affliction, hundred dollars a piece, and I am wearing them. Actually, the next shout out to everyone that was cool in high school. I'm now doing better than you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not cool. Yeah, yeah, still, so. not cool. still not cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better it's than okay. you. That's all right, Marty. Man, what, what's what's going on in your world, man? What do you yeah, what, what do you like hobbies? Fun? I mean, oh, I, I know already, but you know the the masses don't know. Okay, so recently, I switched oatmeal brands. Wow, really? Oh, you're off Quaker? Really? Yeah, I'm off the Quaker. I'm, uh, Good for I'm you. Uncle Ben's now. Oh, that's tough. Whoa. That's tough. Uh, that's tough. I made rice. Okay. okay. Yeah, I didn't know. I ben. Re I, I'm thinking about getting a hat. Okay. There you I go. Have, my hobby oh, is living. You see my hobby is doing this podcast. Hair. My hobby is alcohol amazing. Alcohol shaman, though. Why well, I'm an alcohol shaman. Namaste. <clears throat> which I heal people through getting partying with me and feeling the vibes <laughs> and stuff. That's my whole, I, I that's my whole gimmick. But realistically, dude, I'm a conversationalist. I just enjoy... One thing that you... Do it, and you haven't talked about it. What? I was just over at your house for, fucker. You were at my house? Yeah. Okay. I know. I didn't get to come over. You were this WrestleMania. Really yeah. drunk? We went over there for WrestleMania. Oh, I. Like I'm, I, I don't want to tell everyone I'm a huge pro wrestling nerd. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I own your hobby. You, 
I own four it. John hey. Cena t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of wrestling too because I. We did. We did have. A, we did have a good time at WrestleMania. We no, got, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It's a hobby. Fun. Yeah, I, I wanted to do you know, watch it. You know, Honestly, redneck soap opera. My main <laughs> redneck soap opera. It's true. It's a, it's a man soap opera. It really is. <laughs> my main hobby. Oh, I love it man. though. It's fun. It's, it's, it's great. Fun. It's, it's so yes. great. It is. It is, it is great. It's so bullshit, especially when I get hit head like that. Oh like, my god, JR, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Realist stuff, I had to say I had one hobby. Let's say today's Thursday. I want to have a better Friday, then I want to have a better Saturday. My mm. hobby is taking every day to a little bit better level. Mm. That's my I like hobby. That. That's awesome. That's yeah. good. That's good. And uh, now that I said the most profound thing that will be said on this episode. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's, yeah. That's the I uh, right there. think it's time to uh, yeah, wrap it up, boys. We are oh, pretty much done yeah, with this, and that calls for uh, Aaron, a small yeah, Thank you for being a guest. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yes, yeah, Aaron. We appreciate it. You guys are can't wait to show all your work to the world. Yeah. And Thank hopefully, you. one of our thirty viewers Thank will buy it. To Brotherhood and Fellowship. To Brotherhood and Fellowship. To my little arms. Ooh. Thank you, brother. <laughs> to, your little, to your little arms. Woo! <laughs> <sighs> and with that, real quick, um, if you know somebody that has a talent. <laughs> that you think should be promoted in your lodge, just like Aaron here, they don't have to hand paint aprons or anything like that. You want uh, everyone to know who they are? Let us know, send us yeah. a message. Instagram, Facebook, we are on Twitter as well. Vimo, Twitch, and... MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't know what to say about that shit, but all right. <laughs> with that, we are signing off, and thanks for watching. We'll be back with more. <laughs> You guys in that Illuminati shit. <laughs> <laughs>